Noblesville mother is questioning the use of force for discipline in her sixth grader's classroom. She says a teacher left marks on her daughter's arm. There are marks on, that, on my daughter's arm that it's undeniable that there was a lot of force used to, to grab and my child. And the school's reaction was not what she expected. Our Rich Van White found out today that she's now worried for her child and other students. Noblesville School says the teacher didn't do anything wrong. The girl's mom says she's not surprised or even shocked, but she is scared. It's actually physically made me ill to the point of not eating, sleeping. Since Friday, when Micah Huber says a teacher left these red marks on her sixth grader's arm. There are marks on, that, on my daughter's arm that it's undeniable that there was a lot of force used to, to grab my child. The alleged incident occurred at Noblesville's East Middle School. Mom says Macy was in class talking with friends instead of working. And the teacher grabbed her by her arm and pulled her, physically pulled her to the desk. According to Noblesville school policy, there are times when physical restraint may be necessary to maintain an orderly and safe environment. Administrators today issued this statement. Our investigation findings, including school video footage and witnesses' accounts, do not indicate any wrongdoing on the part of the staff member in question. Student safety is our top priority, and we take any accusation of staff misconduct seriously. We Huber read a personal email from the school for the first time during our interview. Do you buy that at all? Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I have to send my daughter to that school. And you're afraid of what else might happen. Okay. Although Macy was moved to another class, she ran into that teacher in a hallway. But my daughter said her heart dropped to her feet and she got to the other side of the, the hallway like Usain Bolt. Micah Huber fears her daughter's pain goes beyond the red marks on her arm. She's getting her daughter some psychological help as she recovers from the ordeal. Thank you, Rich. Noblesville School responded, saying it's working with the student, parents, the Indiana Department of Child Services, and the police in Noblesville to resolve this issue. John?